All right, hey everybody, Ben Burchard again, founder of High Performance Caddy and author of the number one New York Times bestselling book, The Millionaire Messenger and The Charge, activating the 10 human drives that make you feel alive. So let's get into this, okay? I'm gonna come back to the first thing I want you to focus on because this one, people forget all the time, but this is the entire base to high performance. Without a connection and an understanding here, this cannot amplify. So I'm gonna come back to this one at the end because that's what most people do in their lives. They go throughout their lives focusing on other things and then they realize, oops, forgot this one. So I'm actually gonna start at two. And the first thing that we need you to really focus on in your life, if you're going to become a high performer, is this concept of presence. Now, presence is often misused in, in the category, so let me define what I really mean by that. Presence is the ability to fully to become fully invested in the moment energetically so that you're not distracted and your mind is elsewhere, but bam, you are here, razor sharp, razor clear, fully engaged energetically in your body and in your emotions in this very moment. My question for you that I want you to focus on the rest of your life multiple times a day is a question for presence, which is this. What level am I right now in this moment in terms of my physical energy and emotional vibrancy? This first question ultimately is, what level of presence do I feel in this moment right now? And if your energy is low, pick it up. The second part that I want to focus on in this video about helping you understand this framework is that high performers focus differently on their psychology than other people. If we are running our lives without a direction in our terms of our identity, then we just show up in every situation and we kind of just we're, we're, we have no direction, there's, there's no continuity in the congruence of who we are. So here's what we have to do to master our psychology. We have to ask this question multiple times a day. Am I living my truth? Am I living my truth? And here's the way I want you to think about that. Living your truth means, at first, you gotta know what your truth is. And I want you to associate it with your identity. So here's what I'd like you to do. I want you to pick three words that define who you are as a person, and then three words that define how you will interact with other people. And I want you to keep those six words at the top of your mind every single day. The question I would use for you is, am I living my truth? Am I living my highest self? Focus on that every single day. Watch what happens to your productivity, your engagement, your love of life. Another thing that high performers focus on is they focus on their physiology, the way they move their body and fuel their body to create the level of energy and strength and stamina that they need to actually accomplish their goals. Look, if you are wiped out and you are exhausted and you are tired consistently, it's because not only are you not activating your physiology, but you forgot to care for yourself. And I'll tell you what, it is really hard to achieve your dreams in life when you let your body go. I mean, when you are tired and fatigued, there's a whole new level of just frustration that comes into your life because you don't have the energy to deal with your life, to deal with your kids, to deal with your work, to deal with accomplishing your ambitions. Here's what I want you to ask yourself every single day. Very simple question. But the more you focus on the right questions, the better outcomes you get in life. And so here's the question. Am I rested and hydrated? Very simple, right? Am I rested and hydrated? Look, we can control lots of things about our life and there's lots of things we can't control. But in terms of your physiology, nothing is more important than these two questions. Have I slept and have I drank enough water? I know that seems basic, but that's really fundamentals. We'll talk about the next video about nutrition. We'll talk about workouts and exercise. I'll give you the high performer's plan to having a great physical body for stamina and strength. That's in the next video. In this one, I, I want you to cover right now is sleep and hydration. I mean, most of America is not sleeping. Most of the world is not hydrating properly. Here's all you have to know from every single thing that we understand in most psychology studies and neuroscience. You gotta be getting seven to eight hours of sleep. Anyone who tells you other is trying to capture you with some interesting marketing, but they're not focusing on the actual research. Everything that we know about sleep 
and about the importance of performing at the highest levels comes from being in a rested, relaxed, emotional present state. And you can't achieve that if you are wiped out because you slept four hours last night. No matter how cool of a program you think it is, it will take away from you and it will drain you unless you're getting seven to eight hours a night. Look, you control your schedule. Get the seven to eight hours. Life comes up, sometimes that gets interrupted, but our job again is high performance. So we want sustained levels of sleep, seven to eight hours, as often as we can get. Next, high performers and multimillionaires are exceptionally talented at focusing on their productivity. I mean, boy, do they produce. And you see this all the time. And I know in your life, no matter who you are and where you're coming from in your life, you could be producing more. Producing is the root word of productivity. And producing means getting things done that are relevant to what you have to accomplish in life. I want you to ask yourself multiple times a day, which is this question. What is my mission today? That's all. What's my mission today? What must I accomplish today to progress my life? What must I accomplish today to move this project forward? What is the ultimate mission today? And that mission, everything else must work around that mission. The last piece that high performers know that they really focus on is this ability to persuade others. The development of the persuasion and influence skills has been something they've been focusing on since they were really deciding to accomplish something significant in the world. Here it is. I'll give you your question to focus on in persuasion. It's this. Am I demonstrating bold enthusiasm? If you want to persuade and influence other people, it's the only question I'm going to ask. Every great movement in history had a bold, enthusiastic leader. Every great company today has a bold, enthusiastic leader. Bold in that they're willing to push. They're willing to challenge the status quo. So they're being bold about it. They're willing to challenge and enthusiasm. They have a great excitement and optimism for new, for the future, for the moment that they're in. And that enthusiasm spreads. I told you I left this out. And I'm coming back to this because all of this would not mean as much if we forgot this one. And this is the one that gives life that grand meaning and connection. And it's the one that most people want. And it's the one I want you to focus on as a question every single day as well. And when you do that, you feel more engaged. You feel more alive. You feel more fulfilled. High performers are always connected to purpose. They're always connected to the meaning of life and the meaning of why they're doing what they're doing. And their question that is going throughout their mind before they ever go into any situation, before they think about themselves even, before they plan out their grand ambitions in life, is this question, how can I serve greatly? Find your purpose today and ask this question, how can I serve greatly?